Oh, oh my god. The fucking mugshot. By the way, like, do you see this? Like, how popular this fucking album is? Yeah. Wait, Zombified is on this album too? Oh my There's god. There's a song on here from five years ago. Isn't that. Zombified's I... from five years ago, right? No, Popular Monster. The title track is five years old. <laughs> Are you serious? Like, it's clearly working. Like, as much as I want to hate on the guy, like, he's doing something, right? The dude's entire, like, he's been literally reborn. Like, he's popular again. More than maybe he's ever been. Anyways, Popular Monster. You wanna, you wanna do this? You ready? I'm ready. I'm not. So, uh, I'm gonna let you just listen to it, alright? And I'm gonna vanish. How's that sound? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. Dear Diary, I've been searching for a higher me. Pardon me if that came off rude. I just have a bad attitude. You could say I escaped my fate. I'm a cynical, egotistical. Oh my god. His manifesto, dude. It's crazy. He made a reference. Did he get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He escaped his own fate that he, uh, you know, he was in. It's crazy. It's even capitalized in case you forgot it. In a world. You forgot to turn on private session. I did, you're right. Good catch. Okay, maybe that's why Ronnie respects me. I'll tell you what. I am one of the few people who does disrespect him to his face. Uh, yeah. Like, if you right. think about it, like, isn't that like... Like, wait a second, like, yeah, he probably is tired of fake people. He probably does appreciate when someone looks at him in the eyes and says, You know, I don't really like you. Watch the world burn! No. Is this this his vocals? Is he doing this? <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, you know what I just noticed? Like, the final song is Last Resort Reimagined. You put a cover as the last song, yeah. I see. A cover that must mean, like, a lot to him, personally. So, I kind of... Once again, I love that. Like, I love that in concept because, like... Once again, it's bold, you know? It's bold. It yeah. is. But, like, also at the same time, it's Ronnie Radke. So, we're allowed to laugh, which is great. Oh, I can't believe we are three minutes in. We've been, like, on this song. I've been recording for 20 minutes, by the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> let's be honest. The music's the least interesting part about Ronnie Radke, dude. Like, you know? Like. That what? is true. Like, what? I'm. Oh, man, I'm going to hear this song on the radio, and I'm just going to lose my mind. He's rebelling. He's fighting against the woke mob, you know? Okay, there's no way this song is going to get played on the radio. <laughs> Yo, this song will never be on the radio. When everything Exactly. Is... Exactly, yeah! <laughs> I'm feeling a, uh, I mean, a smiley ball, of course, like... You it's kidding me? A 10. It's a ten. No, like, okay, but like, let's be serious for a second. That was so funny. I love that. That was a great <laughs> yeah. piece of entertainment. It's so dramatic. The mix is terrible, um, but I love it. I love, I love the lyrics here. I love how he actually does make a couple good points, but then we'll just like blow this whole thing so out of proportion that it's like any of those get buried. So even if he does say something that I'm like, oh yeah, I can see where he's coming from. It's just like. The angels die, let it burn, prepare to die, broken system. I'm just like, you know, I'm pretty sure there is a, a, a point somewhere in here amongst the anger. Title track that was released five years ago. Popular Monster. That's a, uh, you know, you know why the album's called Popular Monster and it's actually a mugshot? I don't know. You got to tell me. So it turns out that Ronnie Radke is actually quite popular and people actually, for some reason, view him as a monster. You can't see my screen right now. I'll show you my screen. But if you look at my screen, you can see that there's actually four Ronnie Radkeys on the screen. At the, no, five Ronnie Radkeys on the screen at the current moment. There's four mugshots and one of him looking really cool and scary. Oh. Dude, I'm intimidated. I don't know if I want to listen to Popular Monster, dude. Like, what if he actually scares me? I want this hung up on my wall, honestly. <laughs> Popular. Gotta buy the vinyl for the, the album. The vinyl, exactly! Wait, I should get a vinyl and I should nail it to the wall. Like, with one of those, like, nails that they, like, put in the cross, you know? Exactly. Like, vinyl in it and everything, just... <laughs> yeah. Michael Jackson. That was so loud. Oh. 
Man, I miss this Ronnie. This is back when he was like actually just like dealing with mental health issues before he was like full on transphobe. So like I could actually like listen to it and be like, oh, I see where he's coming from, you know? Uh, unfortunate. You know, I feel like he kind of fell off whatever this path was because it really did seem like, you know, there was a, a goal of self actualization to this song, you know? Definitely. Like compared to the stuff he does now. Like, I feel like he's just making the same song over and over again now, <laughs> in a yeah. way. And it's always about how other people are the problem. I think I'm going nowhere like a rat trapped in a maze. Every popular, popular, Can we talk about how bad this album sounds, by the way, so far? Like, I don't, yeah. I don't know why the final, like, mix is so compressed, but it just, there's something about it that sounds wrong. I'm going to try to reset the EQ and see if that, like, fixes anything. But, like, as you see, like, the EQ is, like, so not the problem here. <laughs> it's so, yeah. like, this is clearly not the issue, you know? Yow! <laughs> that was so loud. Oh, my God. I, that was, like, so fucking loud. Like, you see, you don't get it. He's just, like, ahead of everyone else, you know? Oh, because you gotta like build the own album like yourself, so it's like interactive. It's an interactive album, you know. So what you're saying is it's kind of like a build your own Lego set adventure, you know, where yeah. what he's giving you is like the tools, the building blocks, you know, of knowledge, and you can like create your own experiences through it. Yeah, that's intense. Wow, and we didn't even get to the biggest line. Oh, where the fuck is your god now? Damn. Oh my god. I've been there. By the way, what? I know I was joking, but um, turns out that the equalizer was actually having a decent effect on the music. <laughs> it actually does sound better. That's weird. Damn. I hate it. <laughs> So Popular Monster is interesting because it is five years old, but also at the same time does literally the exact same things as a song like Watch the World Burn. So it's like he's literally been doing this now for like five years. It's only gotten worse. Popular Monster is fine, though. I don't hate it. Probably the best song on the album so far. You know, I think that's fair. I agree. I mean, it's like the one that's the most like. I'd say he's going through his own journey on this song. You know what I mean? Like, it actually feels like he's exploring his own feelings rather than other people's, which I think is... Yeah. Actually, okay. So, yeah. So, Popular Monster, and then we got All My Life featuring Jelly Roll. Uh, Jelly Roll. Jelly Roll. After this. Let me put it like this. Jelly Roll, right? The story with Jelly Roll is like he was like a drug dealer turned musician trying to turn his life around, right? And I feel like with working with someone like Jelly Roll, you would hope that Ronnie would be doing the same sort of soul searching. But I feel like a lot of his public discourse that he's sort of like, like just in the last few years has all been very, him campaigning for like very bad stuff. Like um, we saw with the song Ronald, there was that Tech 9 line. What was it? Fucking uh, sex change could put you closer to death's range. Like... Huh? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Excuse I, me? I oh shit. Yeah, I've been high and low, I've been sober. Uh, up on the streets is like I uh okay, so like let's stop for a second, okay? Let's just let's pause. Um Do you remember <laughs> the uh yummy country remix? Yeah. <laughs> That's all I need to say. Alright, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> The record scratches. Bro, he produces his own music. He's literally like Kanye West for real. Like modern Kanye. That's crazy, dude. It's, just, it's produced by him and um, someone that worked on the Sonic soundtrack for the last game. <laughs> dude, let's go, dude. Making money moves. <laughs> Bro's literally collecting coins right now. Collecting rings, actually. Okay, so you know in like uh, 303 albums how there's those slow songs? Count down the seconds till this album ends. You're way too young to be broken. Oh 
my god, I can't. Yeah. Okay, so that's all I need to say about that, right? Yeah, this song is like, it's like a mix of like country elements with like a Limp Bizkit song. And like... <laughs> But not like a good look, bit. like one of the deep cuts off of like chocolate starfish, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the results may vary, you know? Or like, <laughs> imagine accepting the truth. Yeah. And then it's like also just like some 41 chorus on top of it. It's oh. like, ugh. And the mix too is like work. literally Space Ashes. Th like this song, the sound of it, I've been listening to so much pop. It is quite literally sh like ready to be shipped to radio as is like this is yeah. quite literally the compression everything about this was made for radio waves which is insane to me Go. oh my god <laughs> wow <laughs> you know what this sounds like have you ever been to a casino yeah have you ever played a slot machine before yeah. Have you ever played a Western themed slot machine before? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's all I need to say about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go. Whoa! Yeah! Brr, dun, 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 dun. You win! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeah, so even though it's not, like, the worst song ever made, it does things in a way that are bad enough for me to be like, yeah, so, like, if anybody else was touching this song, it would be better, uh, unfortunately. So, for that reason, even I can't Kid say Rock? I loved it. Kid Rock on this shit? Okay, Kid Rock and Ronnie Radke collab album win. Like, actually. I would not be surprised if that happens. <laughs> yeah, the streets are waiting. Like, we've been waiting. We're hungry, you know? In my opinion, I think most of the parts of this song don't mesh well together at all. And like that breakdown that sounded like a slot machine, you know. Um, not a big fan. I guess the chorus is kind of nice, but there's so many songs with good choruses that I could be listening to instead, you know. With better mixing and also not Ronnie Radke, yeah. Yeah, like better parts around the chorus, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next song is called Ronald. All right, and uh, it was a single, okay? Now, yeah. I need you to understand, Ash. A lot of people misinterpreted this song, okay? See, a lot of people thought that it actually wasn't transphobic, you know? But I feel like Ronnie's real audience actually is able to read between the lines and pick up what he's actually saying, you know, just due to his tweets. So this is where having prior knowledge will make you enjoy the music more. Oh my god. <laughs> this is one of my favorite, like, moments of music of this year, is literally, like, this little segment here. <laughs> <laughs> the breakdown in him just screaming that, dude, is like... It's so funny. <laughs> ah! You know, I think this song would be better if there was, like, an intro or a structure or anything. <laughs> anything? <laughs> Maybe to make it a song? You know? Yeah. It's just, like, it's like a stream of consciousness, but it's, a, like, a hardcore metal song, you know? Yeah, it, with a Tech 9 feature and also Alex Terrible. Let's see, let's see how Tech 9 takes down this song and, you know, really just spits. Okay, so let's let's pretend Tech Nine meant well for a second. All right, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. So you're telling me Tech Nine just happens to stumble into the studio and drop a verse where he says, "Sex change might get you closer to death's range." Bro, stumbled then, into the studio with these people, huh? Uh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. See, that's you just where, tripped, you know? Yeah, you just tripped and fell into the booth and started recording. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> he pled sane, but really imitating Ed Gain, followed up by the sex change line saying pled sane after sex change is so what we like to call, if that's a non sequitur, 
than Jesus Christ, I don't know what is a sequitur. You know? Yeah. Like, the riffs go hard. Go! Yeah, the instrumental ain't bad. Oh my god, wait, Among Us reference? You hear that? Holy shit. Wait, what? Wait, you, what? You hear the Among Us reference? You hear that? <laughs> yeah. Bro, that's crazy, dude. Okay, so Ronnie is one of my or sorry, Ronald is one of my favorite songs on this album. Um, easily. Uh, not only is Ronnie Radke animalistic to the point of literally being incomprehensible, but the fact that there is a tech nine verse on here that is like so confusing followed by just screams from some guy named alex terrible i'd say this is probably one of the best songs of the year what do you think it's uh, one of the funniest of the year that's for sure i think there's a good song buried in this track you know yeah I maybe agree. if you um yeah. take tech nine out of it it might be better <laughs> okay let's take out tech nine let's take out ronnie and let's take out alex terrible okay let's start over Let's start fresh where it needs to start, by getting rid of everything that's making this song bad, okay? The instrumental slaps. Now, all I need yeah. to do is go over this and go, you know, <laughs> and we got a hit. And then we go, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, gotta get broken sight on this beat. Bro, we need like a little John samples too, like throughout it, like every <laughs> four beats, there's just a, like a little John ad lib, you know? Hey, oh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly all right next song is called i got voices in my head again tread carefully the voices in my head keep on telling me to pray the voices in my head keep telling me to choose a side it's heaven or hell like <sighs> make this last forever the voices in my head Oh my god. <sighs> Why is Ronnie Raggy doing fucking what is it? Emo rap? Uh doing genre him, sad boy, you know? bro? I mean he does look pretty sad in this picture, I will say. I will say that this um is definitely this popular monster again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Slightly um, different lyrics, but um How how old is this song? This song also sounds like it was recorded in the same age yeah, it was as that. Like 2022, I think. Voices in my head keep telling me that I get slight. Voices in my head keep on telling me I'm cursed. I'm cursed. Yo, death grips? Oh, I get it. Okay, so he's actually doing a pretty good job on this song, but the reason why I think it's so unappealing is because uh, I'm not named Kyle. So, like, I don't connect with this. Put me in the dark. Move! Okay, so let's literally watch the world burn break down again. <laughs> yeah. Identical. Like, okay, sure. My review of that song is go listen to Two Girlfriends, One Boom instead. What do you think? I'm not really connecting to this one. I'm sorry. Uh, Voices in My Head, not a great song, but it's got more than double the user score of this next one called Bad Guy, featuring Soraya. Oh boy. It's gotta be a Billie Eilish cover, you know? <laughs> yeah! I'm the bad guy, I'm a savage, I'm a <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> There's no way this album's serious, right? Oh, this is so fun. I'm loving this. I'm hoping you're having as much fun as I am. Like, this, this is great. I'm I'm smiling. This, this this is great. Oh, and we're on bad guy too. Like this song, the way this is starting. Oh my god! Falling in reverse. Truly have a sound that's all their own, and that's a treasure. Have you listened to the? Uh, what did you think of the new Mori, by the way? I thought it was a really like it was a step in the right direction for sure. I liked it. Right? Wasn't it like I I feel like she's just like improved. Oh yeah yeah Ronald Radke. But yeah no I think it's like a step in an improvement like all all the right ways for the for the new Mori like you know she's uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh wait, no, Ronnie. Rad album. Sorry, Ronnie Radke. Yeah, but um, like so, like for the ten songs that she, you know, put out for there, it's like she she actually seemed to really care about like the individual track quality, which I thought was really respectable. You know what I love, Space Ashes, a song what? where the entire idea is you're just li listening to negative affirmations. Yeah. Just Great. negative affirmations, the song. This really does sound like something that spawned out of um, Suicide Squad, you know? 
Yeah, dude. Wearing that negativity like a crown, like a badge yeah. of honor. You don't know the pain I've gone through. I am too far to be redeemed. Fuck your feelings, Sarah said it. If I'm a loser and you don't like me, I I've already stopped paying attention, by the way. There's not enough time in this song for it to do anything that's going to make it a good song. So, you know, it's like, what, two yeah, this and a half is, minutes? It's terrible. This is by far the worst song on the album so far. It's not even close. <laughs> this is one of the worst songs of the year, I'd even say. I'd say this is... Yeah. I've enjoyed all the yeah. singles more than this. Just because, like, um, why would you ever go out of your way to listen to a song of someone just saying everything they think you're thinking about them, and it's all negative? So, like, 21 Pilots, right? So you know how they talk about, like, mental health struggles? This is like yeah. that, but for Kyle's. It's the bad ending. It's the <laughs> It's the other side of the coin. This is the evil Clancy. This is Blurry Face if Blurry Face made an album about why Blurry Face is so good and why you suck. I think I'm going to review the album up to this point because I imagine that if anyone's actually like watching this video, continuing with this album must sound like literal torture. There's a song called Trigger Warning in between Watch the World Burn and Zombified and No Fear between Zombified and Last Resort Reimagined. Like... So, bad guy, that was uh, not a good song. In fact, it was terrible. Dog. If there was any song to give a dead drop zero to, I think this is the one. <laughs> it's not um, particularly the best song because the Crypt cover is indeed better, you know? You know, it's actually surprising that a cover of a song by Ronnie Radke is worse than the original. Watch the world burn. We the best music! Oh. Oh. The back of the message of asking the question if you hate me, why you acting obsessive? You know what I just realized? We need Popular what? Monster because it actually makes Vultures 2 sound good. I, I've yet to listen to Vultures 2, and I don't know if I'm going to, but, um... Yeah, you're right. <laughs> You haven't even listened, and you're like, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it really is that bad, so it probably is better. I got dominoes. Oh, yeah, I'm about to go Darth. I'm about to go Disney, dude. By the way, the song is aged so poorly because of, like, all of the controversy he's gotten in that it's just made him look so much worse. Yeah. Like, his whole Twitter... Him erasing his entire Twitter, then him getting like shadow banned, and then actually deactivated. Yeah, then like he's like he got dirt on people, and then most he does is like take down your videos. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and then says that he has nothing to do with his music being blocked yeah, well, exclusively like... on my videos. Yeah, yeah, like he's DMing <laughs> you saying ha ha ha, and like no, that wasn't me. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, I, I just checked your channel again to see your video, and it's gone. How funny is that? What a coincidence. It's a pain and sorrow, let us hollow, no tomorrow. Yo, uh, 2,000 likes on this video, and I'll make a better cover of this than Crypt, okay? How about that? Yo. I'll post on the second chat. I'll make a better version of watch the world burn and you know what i'll produce it from scratch all, all new instrumentation you know it would be great oh that would be so good watch the world burn. this shit goes hard though all right enough time has passed that goes hard that slaps okay yeah like the biggest issue with falling reverse isn't the instrumentals because they're usually really good yeah it's the, it's the lyrics, you know? Which is, like, unfortunate because, like, I can't actually figure out who's writing these lyrics or, like, the person who's the reason this man doesn't work because it's just so anonymous, you know? Okay, so, yeah. Uh, Watch the World Burn was already a great song, but now you can listen to it and look at his mugshot, dude. Like, Hell yeah. like this is the fucking... This is what we've been waiting for. This is the modern age, okay? So I'm feeling... I'm feeling a smiley ball on this song. Great track. 
if we're gonna, you know, compare apples and oranges here, uh, you compare this song to Ronald, the structure of this song is so much better. It's so clear, you know, the rising, like it actually makes sense as a song, even if it's cringe, which I respect. Trigger warning. Uh oh, yo, Ford F-150? We're the land of the free. Oh, the oh, 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 um, wait, 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 oh my God. You there need a truck go. that's built tough like you. <laughs> I'm talking the new Ford Thunder. It also comes with crash proof the testing. Free. The Ford <laughs> Thunder is the best <laughs> car in America. Okay. Mm. I know I keep pausing to say really stupid things, but this one I promise actually is good, okay? So you know uh, Fallout Boy, right? And you know how the members of Fallout Boy cast shadows? That's all I gotta say. And like, in the modern day. But like that, but like modern. In late 2019, Mac, uh, McDonald was scheduled to be supporting, to be a supporting act for Falling in Reverse's episode 4 tour before it was cancelled. Now, this is not a coincidence that his music sounds like shitty YouTube rap <laughs> 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 about triggering people. So, um, yeah. I see talking like this. What is this delivery? So while artists like Jelly Roll are out here, you know, giving back to their community and really feeding back to the streets through their success, Ronnie Radke has decided to use his platform as a way of, uh, how do I say this, um, upsetting middle-aged soccer moms? I don't know, man. It just kind of seems like a waste of time. You see, he really, this is the part of the album he wanted to make a point, because he follows this song with Zombified, a song about people who are like, woke. And zombies. So, like, what he's saying is, like, uh oh, trigger warning. Now you've turned into a zombie. It's over. Oh, I have no fear, though, because this is my last resort. It's like a story, you know? And it all ties together. And the most important part is Ronnie wins. Zombified. He says everyone's talking, bitch. Oh no, they'll never let go of something you said 10 years ago. I'm gonna be honest, Space Ashes, and I apologize because clearly I'm in the wrong here, but I need to say it anyways. Maybe Ronnie Radke is still thinking about it 10 years later. Maybe that's not good either. You know, he could be right, but maybe this isn't the right solution. is catchy as shit, by the way. Go. When it stops, we'll never know. Dude, I'm telling you, like, why am I even, like, trying so hard? You d Like, this, all I need for a thumbnail is this. Like, the dude's right. His face sells. Why am I trying yeah. so hard? He made it easy for me. Years ago, they're canceling, canceling, go. I got the shit that you can bump in your car. Oh, yeah. You know what I just heard? You're gonna, you're gonna be amazed by this. It's this part right here. It's this song. <laughs> Is it the good version of this song though? Oh no, you know! <laughs> hey! But I can remember dissecting a frog. That part. You hear it? Yeah, I, I hear it. Killing the zombies! Pew 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 pew! pew. Zombified is one of the best songs on this album. It is catchy as all hell, as long as you're willing to ignore the fact that it's literally about... Okay, so yeah, this song kind of sucks. But you know what? I still love it. 10 out of 10. What do you think? It's fun, you know? Like, if you ignore that it's Ronnie Radke doing social commentary, you know, then it's good. Yeah, you, know? you just gotta ignore it's Ron Ronnie Radke doing important social commentary about the state of uh, the online space. Um, exactly. Rage Against the Machine, which is, that is good of a political 
you know, commentary as Ronnie Radke. You know, you're so right. And I think that, so what happened is like Rage Against the Machine missed the mark with their music. But then like in the future, you saw like when Trump was running, they were playing Rage at like Trump rallies. And, you know, that was like the first time I think we'd seen art be like implemented in a way that's political. And it was like really powerful. Oh, wow. So this song uh, was the second lowest rated song, but I refreshed the page. It is now the lowest rated song. Uh, it's in the single digits. It's the only song with a score lower oh, no. than two digits. So this is a nine out of 100 currently. No fear. Oh, my God. Lower than bad guy, you know? Lower than bad guy? <laughs> hey, yo, put on that new falling in reverse, bro. I love Static's review of this shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> all right no fear i have fear i have fear to hit play dude i don't want to hit play on this shit bro hell no i've <laughs> i've got fear i've got so much fear got one fear so I, i'm gonna tell people something and the, they might be really surprised by this so i'm gonna hop on my soapbox all right are you ready for this mm -hmm. the world has always had bad people and if you actually, like, just open up your ears to every single person on the entire planet, you will hear bad people. All he's doing is focusing on those people and wasting his time and energy on making music directed at them. <laughs> yeah. They want to call me a nuisance Just because I'm not afraid of giving my two cents It's never claimed to be a rapper You <sighs> never woke up and chose violence It's useless <laughs> This should be messed up, big time I feel like I wake up every day to... <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a sound bite. <laughs> Wait, you're so right. Wait, holy shit. <laughs> That's so good. I don't mind when a band sees another success and gets inspired as the copy and I cannot respect you. Oh my god. My, me, my, you're copying me. Me, my, me. It's my sound. <laughs> me, I made it. I started it. I started this internet shit. He's the first guy to ever, you know, combine rap and metal. I know? sent the first email. I was there. <laughs> oh my god. You went from rock to rap, but I did that first. No, black people did that first. First they inspired rock and roll. Then they created a uh, rap. Am right? Or am I, I crazy? Think you're just being intolerant, bro. I'm being intolerant? No, no, no. I'm not being <laughs> No, see cuz like what I'm trying to do is I'm not okay. I'm not trying to invalidate Ronnie Radke's feelings. Okay, let me just establish that. I need you to understand that. Okay. Now, yeah. with that being said, he is simply wrong. He is wrong. Phony baloney, lonely in the morning, and the honey and <laughs> jabroni. I woke up in the morning, hot like morning wood in, in the, the morning. Person on this fucking planet that can top what I'm doing with this music. I'm just waiting for the top line. You can't be serious. Bro, it literally sounds like they just took Watch the World Burn and then like pitched it down a little so that he could take like a water break. Either conquer Yo. every genre like Genghis Kong or chop you like a helicopter into 60 pieces like I'm Jeffrey Dahmer. Yo, free, oh, free? I think this guy needs better role models. <laughs> I don't know. What makes you think that? I think about Genghis Khan and I think, what has he done for civilization and history as a whole, right? And I'm just like struggling to find the positive. And I think if he would have chosen a name of someone like Martin Luther King Jr., you know, um, uh, Chapel Rome, um, you know, it would have had more of a reaction. But instead, he chose the worst people ever. You should have picked Will I Am, actually. And oh, I'm alive, I'm alive. Okay. And then, like, the other person he chose is Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, exactly. Like, like Jesus. <laughs> Yo, Suicide Boys? Wait, literally though, yeah. By the way, this is the guy who says everyone's stealing his style. Yeah, like, hello? I can, uh, I can tell this one's gonna be the next single of this album. Oh, it, you know why? Because, like, you know the song Bad Guy by Billie Eilish? How it has that, like, switch up at the end and everyone's like, whoa. You know, it's the same reaction yeah. I have here listening to the song. 
Final song, Last Resort Reimagined. Five minutes long, by the way. Five oh fucking my. minutes long. And I have heard this song, and it's not good. Here we go. <sighs> oh my god, I get it. Cut my life into penises? History is something it's that on key, or it's forgotten. on beat. I feel this hate ever that mankind has ever witnessed. <laughs> I have been through wars and come out with no scars. Try and <laughs> cheer for you when you reach the top of the mountain. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my I think god. I actually shed a tear listening to that song. Yeah. So, yeah, that song sucks balls. Okay. Falling in what Reverse a... Popular Monster. Wow. We made it. What a great album. I'll tell you what. I'm actually going to give my honest thoughts on this album. Because I actually was listening. Um, Ronnie Radke clearly actually does want to improve. But he is such a fucking meathead that I don't think that... Even therapy is helping him. That's how fucked up this guy is, bro. I'm I'm not giving it a score, but I'm just I'm needless to say that when I do, don't expect any standing ovations. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Um, <laughs> this album is a disaster. <laughs> like it's funny bad, but it's bad, you know? Yeah. Oh, but it's like very funny bad, so it's great. Yeah. Like, I would recommend someone to listen to this if they want to have a laugh, you yep. know? Yep. Listen uh, through watching someone else's Twitch stream where it's playing, like, in the background of the room so you don't give Ronnie the two cents for the streams. So there you go. All right. Thanks, everyone. I'm going to have my final review uh, for you guys in a second uh, right about here.